I'm a little worried about if he's going to actually roast. I can't get that picture out of my head where the three pastors are trying to figure out the new sound system. There it is. And I have to tell you, given our experience that day, the answer to the question, how many pastors does it take to turn on the system, is at minimum seven. <laughs> but I still can't quite figure it out. <laughs> David, of the three pastors here right now, is the longest serving. He's been here all of two and a half years, right? Almost, okay, two, two, two years, nine months. But he's been the one who's been around the most. And if you thought that you had enough of his stories, try being on the staff. <laughs> At staff meeting, every time we discussed anything really, uh, David would pipe up with, when I was at Jing John's, and then we would get a story that was or wasn't relevant to the discussion at hand. We would just roll our eyes. It took him a few months to actually get the message, but eventually he changed his tune, and instead of at St. John's, he would say, at the congregation whose name shall not be named. <laughs> And he thought he made that better, right? <laughs> Truly, David, though, we're going to miss that about you, and we're going to miss the many stories that you told us. Uh, but I want to tell one other thing that nobody has mentioned yet. Well, actually, that's not true. Nathan mentioned your love for classical music and how in your office you have this nice speaker and the Spotify account, and you kind of uh, listen to classical <coughs> music, and that was really nice until last summer. When, when Mike, in his eternal wisdom, gave permission to someone to store their big timpani, tim, timpanies, I can't say that word, four timpanies, <laughs> which are huge, big uh, kettle drums, right? <laughs> in the music room, right next door. And it wasn't just storing, it was the guy who was part of the Raleigh um, Symphony, right? Uh, would actually come and practice about, um, I don't know, 30 hours a day. <laughs> and so you would be doing your, uh, you would be doing all your work to this all the time, which was kind of nice for a while, <laughs> until it got annoying by about day three. <laughs> but what was wonderful was, I don't know whether he planned that or not, but Pastor David would be playing his music, and the guy would be playing his instrument, and you know what? It went together. <laughs> and you have a wonderful classical background to your work. So I won't forget that either. Uh, David. At this point, I need you to come up here because we have a gift for you that actually relates to your love for listening to music. I didn't find out until just last week that actually, in order to listen, he was using the church's Spotify account. Can you believe that? Without being authorized by the resource ministry. How rude. Kind of How rude. Uh, but we know that that's something you're going to be missing. And so the official uh, gift that we have from Christ the King Lutheran Church to show our appreciation, I let you figure that out, what it is, and take it out. Get it? It's a Bluetooth speaker that is so powerful that all of Holy Trinity will be hearing your music. <laughs> but more importantly, look in there. Not, not the text. That, that. There we go. Okay. It's a gift card for Spotify. <laughs> <laughs> from Holy Trinity. <laughs> <laughs> the way you did
production. They've been making red wine, and today was bottling day. And so you are actually the first person to get the very first bottle from the newly formed and already famous J and J wine. <laughs>
my colleagues on the staff. And I'm grateful to Wolfgang. It really breaks a lot of rules to ask the interim to stay, and I wouldn't have been able to do that except for Wolfgang. Uh, before he actually got here, he said, if I get to call David, will you stay? And then he repeated that invitation a couple more times. So this has been extraordinary. Well, you did it after the so, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. Thank you, uh, just so humbly, to have you all come out on a Saturday night to, to say goodbye, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you. I want to say uh, thank you to our MCs of the night, to Bill and Dee. Thank you so much, wherever you are. And at this time, the choir has one final goodbye for you. Anyone else who would like to come sing, uh, Lord bless you and keep you. Come on up.